Say we going to church. I don't want to come, Mom, okay? No, you can't vlog in church. You will vlog when we get out, okay? Sunday. Welcome back to another vlog. Headed to church. Yep. Happy Sunday, loves. Once again, happy Sunday. I hope you guys can hear me. I have the air on and it is very hot outside. I don't want to turn the air off, but we are so happy to be back going to church it was awesome we haven't been to church in about three weeks so it felt so good just to go in hear the word see all my family and stuff like that i want to say thank you to everyone who um just show concern once i made a post uh showing telling you guys what i had going on covid and pneumonia. Everybody in the house was diagnosed with COVID. I ended up getting COVID and pneumonia. It was just, it was rough. But the good Lord brought us through. And, you know, all I can say behind that is God is good. But, um, yeah, we are outside the grocery store right now. Hubby ran in to get a couple groceries. Me and the girls just sit in the car having some... The, some of these trolley I guess that's called and the mystery pack you guys this is my jam I love the mystery pack it is so good but yep I'm back vlogging I'm back on YouTube and I'm so excited I miss doing YouTube I love YouTube yep so I just want to say happy Sunday I think I'm going to carry this vlog through the rest of the week but yeah, I just wanted to check in. I'm so nosy, y'all. But I just wanted to check in. Check in and say, Happy Sunday. Welcome to another vlog. This is probably going to be a weekly vlog since the weekend is almost over. I'll check back in with you guys a little later. I don't know what I'm going to cook tonight. It just depends on whatever he get at the grocery store or whatever. I'll decide to put together. So yeah, I'll check back in later once again. Happy Sunday. Okay, love, so I'm back. I'm finishing to get ready to head to Walmart. And I just wanted to pick up the camera and kind of chat with you guys. I know I haven't vlogged in a while. As you all know, I have been sick. My whole family been sick. We had COVID. I missed around and got pneumonia, honey. And it was no joke. So I wanted to pick up the camera and vlog and talk to you guys a little bit um i'm not gonna talk about my sickness the whole vlog but it just was a life-changing experience or whatever and me and my husband have been talking um just after dealing with covid and pneumonia and just a life-threatening situation and stuff like that you know we have been talking and we kind of made vows to one another that at this point we are living life at this point we are going to live we're going to try new foods we're going to go to new places we're going to follow our dreams and take chances uh, and all and above all else you know really focus in and fix our relationship with god and get everything together like we are going to live like like they say yellow or <coughs> Live. Let me put this seatbelt on. But we are going to. But we have made a decision to pretty much live like we dying. And what I mean by that is love on our family, focus on our relationship with God, build a relationship with Him above all else. Um. Like I said, take trips, try new foods, do things, you know, and not only do stuff when we don't, when we have a babysitter, you know, we want our kids to experience life with us. Like we always see, like we were cracking jokes, um, a couple of days ago, like we don't even need a babysitter no more. If we want to go out on a date, we want to go out. We taking the kids with us. Like our family 
has been hit hard with this sickness. We want to experience life and we want our girls to experience life with us. We want to make memories with them as well. So after dealing with all of that, that is just a vow and a commitment that we made. You know, we're living life at this point. We're going to follow our dreams. We live in life. No holding back. We don't care what nobody got to say. At this point, the Mitchells are living for the Mitchells. Okay? Nobody else's opinions matter. Nobody else's. We are living for us. At this point, I hope you guys can hear me over this air. Because, honey, it's hot. I can't ride with the air off. Even though I am vlogging. I'm sorry. It's hot. I'm going to have to have me a little air. But... I'm on my way to Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Walmart just to stock up on cleaning supplies. I got to get my baby some wipes. Um, yeah, that's really all I'm going to get. A uh, washing powder, and I want to see if I can find a candle as well. I really want to try some candles from Bath & Body Works, but my husband allergies are so sensitive and like he'll get headaches and stuff off certain scents so i just really have not been really into um bath and body works candles but there's something i definitely want to get into because i am like a candle person we do wildflowers sometimes but i like to buy me a good candle every now and then oh, good i wore my lashes to church baby no ma'am my head was hurting my eyelids was like, girl, don't play with us, honey. You ain't put on no, no 25 mm's in about three weeks. Please don't throw these lashes on and try to play. I had a banging headache, so that's the reason why I got bald naked on my eyes, y'all. I had to come out of them lashes. Yep. I'm needing a perm so bad, but I'm really not worried about it right now i'm honestly just not worried about it i want to get it done before monday because i will be starting a new job monday another work from home job like that's a whole situation like i'm gonna tell y'all about my work from home situation when i come out of dollar tree because chad i know y'all thinking girl another job another yes ma'am but hopefully this is one that will last a while. So let me run in Dollar Tree and I'll tell y'all about that when I come out. this job situation so I was working with one company work from home or whatever as y'all know I vlogged the whole process and everything was going good but my system well they upgraded their software or whatever that we had to put on our computers they were going through a third party they cut out the middleman and came up with their own software or whatever so my computer pretty much was no longer compatible so i couldn't log in to work and stuff like this so pretty much i guess it was their way of firing people whose systems were not compatible or whatever because i couldn't even clock in like i couldn't even get their system to work and they kept on saying like we're working on it we're working on it three or four days went by i just quit trying to clock in whatever end up getting another job y'all more pay um still work from home so the lord work in mysterious ways okay i just consider that a blessing so i start that job on august the 30th or whatever and um i remember i was tripping like why is the job start date so late like what am i gonna do from now to then stressing out wearing myself 
or whatever. Mind you, I've been a stay-at-home mom for three years. Like, girl, calm down and chill out. You can go a few weeks without working. But uh, I was just freaking out. Like, long story short, God knows everything. Like, we just have to trust His plan, you guys. I got COVID and pneumonia. My husband missed like two—I don't know—two or three weeks of work. Like, I would have started that job and been fired because I literally. I was in no shape to be working. There you go your length check. Okay, so I never got to show you guys the girls' bathroom. I ordered this set off of um Amazon. I need to clean this mirror. But, uh, yeah. I ordered this little set off of Amazon. I just have to get them, like, a little uh, toothbrush holder and a pink garbage can. And I feel like this will be cute. They love it. I love it, too. In the process of just decorating the house and stuff like that i had i was i got so much stuff in my amazon cart but you know when the situation came up with the um with my job and stuff like that and then us getting sick i wasn't able to get done so now that i will be back working again and stuff like that i'm just about to get my house decorated little by little piece by piece to show you guys what i end up getting like the what I have in mind for the house is going to look so good. But yeah, this is the girl's bathroom, y'all. Let me know if I did good. Like I said earlier, I just got to get them a pink toothbrush holder and a pink garbage can. I thought about putting them like some of those glitter letters on the wall. I don't know. I just want it to be cute and girly. So yeah, but like I said, as I decorate, I'll show you guys little by little what I order and stuff like that but yeah so I'm about to go get dinner started because it is pretty late good evening you guys so I did not get to show you guys what I made for dinner unfortunately I got distracted doing so much stuff and just end up forgetting I just got out of the shower and I wanted to show you guys my body care for the night yeah like I was saying I want to show you guys my body care for the night and i am used the cotton candy cloud shower gel as well as the cotton candy clouds lotion as you guys can see how much i love this lotion like and that's because it pairs well with so much i didn't even get the body spray and i have went through that lotion because it literally pairs well with so many other fragrance mists and i just put on candy ball is sorbet with that and i smell good if i do say so myself like i love fragrance mist at night um just before bed and stuff like that if i don't want to wear a perfume to bed i can just put on my fragrance mist and that's what i love to do i come up with like a different combination every night that's why i like to go to the semi-annual sale and stuff like that to just collect fragrance mist and stuff like that because every time i take a shower i feel like i'm literally going shopping like what am i finna come up with what do i want to use stuff like this so that's why i really love bath and body where it's just for really like around the house and stuff like that especially before bed just to smell good and clean in my little nightgown and stuff like that but I don't know if I told you guys that me and hubby did come up on our anniversary this weekend. We have been married for five years and we have been together for eight years. And um, I want to show you guys my anniversary gift. Um, this is the bag that I got. So cute, right? And I'm actually going to do a video and show you guys my... Um, michael kors bag collection like he has bought me so many bags 
I told him actually like I don't even want no more right now because I really need to get into carrying what I have but this bag actually came in when I was dealing with COVID and pneumonia and it helped me feel so much better I insert a picture it came in like a fancy box with a little note from him and stuff like that so it was a good surprise but yes this is what I got <coughs> excuse me this is what I got for our anniversary and I love it I'm um, not carrying it right now actually I said I'm gonna let it be my winter bag what'd you say as a stay-at-home mom, this is normally how my mornings go. I'll get up and fix hubby breakfast before work, and this just gives us time to talk and spend a little time together before he leaves for work. Let me show y'all what y'all friend did today. Yeah, so I'm going to have to work on it tonight. Who do you think? No, no. <laughs> that one? happy wednesday um so today i have pretty much just been cleaning doing stuff around the house um i'm about to get ready to take the girls to get some ice cream and then we're going to run to the grocery store and get some stuff i'm making tacos like taco salad tonight so i may vlog that i think i'm going to end the vlog after today just to go ahead and get something up on my channel because I haven't posted in a while and I don't like that. So I think today is going to be the last day of the vlog so I can go ahead and get something up for you guys. Um, yeah, so we are on our way to support a local black business. It's actually a girl I went to school with. We were in the same grade, but we went to the same school. And um, she opened an ice cream shop. So me and the girls are going to go check it out. Right, ladies? Ain't that right, girls? Uh-huh. Yeah, so we are about to go get us some ice cream. Sprinkles. All right, let's roll. Let's roll. Hi guys. So we gonna roll in a... So they got some ice cream for being good girls and big girls for being good for mama. I, 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 I,
birthday. song. Happy birthday to y'all cousin. It's a song. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, it's a song. It's a song. It's my cousin's birthday. It's my cousin's birthday. It's a song. 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 She vlogging, Lana. So, guys. She asked, Lana. I can leave me. Don't vlog, please. Put it where they can see you easily. Hey. Hey. Fall it down. Back it up. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So, we type those. And I'm my, my, my mom has some taco. <laughs> Say hey, hi. Hey. Say what y'all doing? What y'all doing? All right, guys. We're going to end the vlog right here. Thanks for watching. Hello. Say thanks for watching. Bye. Hello. So Hello. see you next time. Bye. Peace. 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 Bye. 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 <laughs>